We are getting right to breaking news to start things off this midday. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Katie Collette. A former Norfolk State University football player went public with sexual assault and hazing allegations against the university. Ten on your side's John Dowding is just back from a news conference laying out the allegations. He joins us live now from the newsroom. John? Yeah, so Katie, the Ocean Lakes High School football player and former NSU left tackle was emotional this morning as he shared his experiences with the football team. His attorney, Diane Toscano, says NSU has been made aware of the issue for the last 10 months. They even said coaches and current staff knew about the issues. It says they're disappointed with how they've handled the allegations since first telling them about what happened. Now, Toscano says she's been approached by a number of other players who claim to have shared similar experiences on the team. She also says there's even a video of an incident where a player performed simulated sex acts on another player on a bed while others watched. Fahey says coaches baited him to rejoin the team after reporting the incidents, and he went on to say NSU made his pain worse by sharing the, quote, sensitive information about the situation to the whole team after he came forward. Now, his lawyer says Fahey wanted to speak out now to share his story and encourage others who went through similar situations to come forward. I was outnumbered by the harassers and those who let it happen. And frankly, I didn't know what these people I just recently met were capable of. I worried about having to defend myself physically from players who already had assaulted me. Uh, the bottom line was I feared for my safety. I knew I didn't want to continue playing at Norfolk State surrounded by an unsafe environment. Now they didn't say whether they have filed anything in court right now, but said there would be new information in the next few weeks. We did reach out to the university for a comment, but we haven't heard anything back yet at this time. Now you can watch that full press conference to hear Sean's full emotional remarks over at wavy.com and also join us tonight for team coverage with our sports director Craig Loper starting at four on Wavy News 10. In the newsroom, I'm John Dowding, 10 on your side.